Their baby was executed in broad daylight. Since the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, the hashtag if they gunned me down has been trending. But it's far from the first time that social media has turned a local incident into a national cause. Racial and social justice issues are increasingly becoming a focus of black Twitter users, collectively known as black Twitter. Times reporter Tanzina Vega with a few of the key hashtags in recent black Twitter activism, now on the New York Times Minute. In 2012, Trayvon Martin was shot and killed while walking and wearing a hooded sweatshirt. The social media campaign that followed included the hashtag WeAreTrayvonMartin paired with images of hoodies. Basically what's happening is that people are infuriated by case after case after case of black Americans who have been killed. Remember Renisha was another viral moment. Soon after the verdict was announced in the shooting death of Renisha McBride, an Associated Press headline described her as a drunk woman. Immediately, black Twitter, if you will, responded to this by criticizing the AP and creating a hashtag called AP Headlines, where they took very serious issues, including slavery and uh, civil rights movement photos, and tweeted headlines that showed sort of a level of, of insensitivity and, and lack of understanding. Now, if they gunned me down has emerged as a response to the photo that was initially used following Michael Brown's killing. Some thought he was flashing a gang sign, others saw a peace sign. Later, another photo surfaced that was less open to debate. This was a campaign that just organically started to show that anyone could have a photo of themselves that represents them in a less than favorable light, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a criminal or they're deserving of some sort of, of violence.